Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Death Proof. What do you know about this movie? This is Quentin Tarantino. That's all I got. <laughs> um, so we're continuing through our Tarantino series. We are only watching the movies that we haven't seen. Uh, we're trying to go in order. So after Kill Bill, this one comes next for us. Yes, so a reminder of the films that we have seen. We've seen Pulp Fiction. We've seen Django Unchained. Um, and Inglorious Bastards. Yes. That might be it before the channel. I had seen some of them too, but that might be it for you. Yeah. Don't really know much about Death Proof. I think on the order of Tarantino films, this one's towards the bottom for fans. Regardless, still super excited to watch a Tarantino movie. Yeah, absolutely. And we are doing the films that he's directed right now, uh -huh. but we are gonna go back and hopefully do also films that he's written. I know a lot of people have requested Natural Born Killers. Right, there's movies that he's connected with still, uh, from Dust Till Dawn, Four Rooms, Natural Born Killers, maybe some more. Right now we're only focusing on the ones that he has directed entirely. Yes, so I'm excited for this. I've enjoyed every Tarantino film that we've watched so far. So I've never heard of this film, so I'm assuming it's just not as popular, but there's a ton of popular films that we've watched on this channel that I've never heard of either. <laughs> So, I guess it's not saying much. Yeah, so who knows? <laughs> but I'm really excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Feet. Feet. Oh, Kurt Russell. Oh, change the title. Girls. Oh, Rosario Dawson. We just had her in Die Hard. Yeah. So Bell is herself. It's moving fast. Really has to go pee. Okay, so we're in Austin. It just would be nice if y'all didn't just count on me all the fucking time. And before the sentence was over, you threw a fucking in there. <laughs> oh, billboard. Woo! Oh, so she's famous? Oh, billboard. Woo! <laughs> Dang. What happened to you and me last night? Not much. We just fucking met each other. Do you guys like the thing? They like it better than no thing. <laughs> <laughs> He said, well, what do you mean, no? You don't even know what I'm going to say. And I said, I already know what you're going to say. <laughs> How can you say you know what I'm going to say? And I said, because you're going to say, let's just go to sleep together. We don't got to do nothing. <laughs> you're going to leave, but I'll see you tomorrow. Remember. I like the aggressive, like, cuts. Morty boys trying to get their fuck on with my daughter. Your dad talks like that? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm staying at the lake house with my girlfriends in our bikinis. Daddy just has a tendency to pop up. <laughs> Look, he's totally harmless. Cute as a fox here! <laughs> Just stopping by. That's your last billboard before Guero's. We said every time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His cuts are tripping me out right? a little bit. And all the grainy film. That was a change. All right. That was giving me like horror film vibes. Yeah. Hey, this is my and I's UT days. <laughs> it's in the middle of conversations. So you must be, must be, the, so you. <laughs> what did you say? And what did you say? I do. Marcy over here could act it out for you. Well, you have a better idea why you have a store for you tonight. Yeah, what should you just pull on her? You're in a club or a bar and Marcy's a kind of hysterically funny, but not funny looking guy. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Your name wouldn't be Butterfly. Pleased to meet you, Barry. Y'all are getting me hot. Shh. <laughs> She's got a big ass. Okay, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, look who wants to get to the point all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty fun adoring my ass. If you're not gonna buy me a drink, can I have mine back? No, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Keep playing. Can I buy you a drink? I'd love one. I'd take a margarita. Here you go. <laughs> Convenient. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep. If they say that, you gotta give them a lap dance. <laughs> what? Hey, give 
didn't nobody know lap dance because of what you said. You don't have to do it for anybody you don't want. Just tell them you already did it at another place earlier. There you go. You're safe with your girls. Hysterically funny, but not funny looking guy. <laughs> Very specific. Just been watching them. Oh, more than watching. Some clear eyes. Rocking out. <laughs> you can always count on good music in a Tarantino film. Lena Frank, where are you? Well, come over already. We're waiting for you. <laughs> uh oh. Going outside yeah. alone. Shauna and the girls at the lake house this weekend? Shauna. Oh, fuck. I really hate it when people call it Shauna. <laughs> Dang. Screwed up right away. Wonder who that's to. Chris Simon. Okay. It's kind of bad. <laughs> Staring at her. You know the house rules. If he sends over shots, you've got to do them. Pretty good rules. Lauren says it, we do it. Oh, Quinton. <laughs> Shot first, questions later. Here we go. Those are huge. Yeah. And they're green. I thought it was the cups. Is that a tasty beverage? What the fuck is it? <laughs> and it's pouring. It's very interesting so far. Right? Not much has happened. No, it's a slow burn. One of the lights is off in the parking lot. Flip it. Oh, there he is. It's quite a car. A skull on the front. Oh, Jesus Whoa, ho. Christ, get the fuck out of me, so inside. Wait a minute. Why? Thinking we could make out? <laughs> not nah, out there. Not in my car, it's not. <laughs> you won't get wet. I wow, I came prepared. You know, most guys wouldn't brag about that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it over more. <laughs> Go in your car, we make out for six minutes, and that's it. Deal? Deal. No whining. And no begging. And no begging. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> was he already inside? Oh, I guess so. I thought he was in the car. Yeah, I thought he was still in his car. Aggressive eater. You can't look like you're trying to get her out of here before Christian Simonson shows up. You've got to get her out of here. Oh, they know he's showing up will be very convincing. We go to Jaeger shots. Guys buying the booze, a fucking bitch will drink anything. <laughs> Jeez. That could be the shot that puts him past the point of fuck it. Just get him drunk enough? Check it out. I <laughs> wonder if BJ brought the bear with him. What a scar. Dude fucking cut himself falling out of his time machine. <laughs> Dude, these guys are the worst. Yeah. He was listening to him the whole time, I'm sure. And where do you two disappear to? <laughs> but I know she's a skinny fake blonde bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Is there anybody in this place you could vouch for to give me a ride home? Your chariot awaits. You've been eavesdropping? Can't help it here. <laughs> you offering me a ride home? I'm offering you a lift. If when I'm ready to leave, you are too. All right. I know looks can be deceiving. I've been drinking club soda and lime all night. Virgin pina colada. <laughs> Doesn't drink, spend hours at a bar. All kind of things other than alcohol. Like ladies? Like what? Women. <laughs> alcohol is just a lubricant for all the individual encounters that a bar room offers. Smooth talker. How do you know my name? Right? Couldn't help it over here. Fair enough. Just listen to everyone. That man likes your name. You ask anybody. Hey, Warren, who is this guy? That man, Matt. <laughs> Who the hell is Stuntman Mike? He's Stuntman. There you go. That's a wild turkey. Jeez, more shots? They didn't even have to push it. Wild turkey, ugh. Can I buy you that virgin pina colada? Yeah, that would be lovely. So much music. So much butts. <laughs> butts and feet. <laughs> what was her story about the blonde lady? Never finished it. Or we cut past it. You want to get with Jungle Julia? There's a real easy way to do that. Get famous. And you don't even want to know what she did for that billboard. 
Whoa. What did she ever do to you? We went to school together. Oh. She was her height right now at 12. She used to beat you up and take your chocolate milk. Might have kicked my ass a couple of times. <laughs> All right, so there's a history. Yeah. I was wondering why she had so much hostility to calling her like a hippie and whatever at right. the bar, but. Seems like almost everyone knows each other in this little bar. Yeah. Yeah, so far this is like his ode to feet. What do you do? What I do is work my ass off to get my own record label off. It's what? right behind him. Oh, <laughs> the billboard. You got a billboard by Big Kahuna Burger, don't you? <laughs> you got a billboard right here. Are you sneezing? I thought he was gonna sneeze too. You know the show The Virginian, Gary Clark, and I looked like him a bit before I cut myself shaving. <laughs> shaving? Do you know any of these shows or people I'm talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> My brother got me in it. Well, who's your brother? Stuntman Bob. <laughs> Runs in the family. Oh, Chris. show. Yeah, I guess he didn't show up. You want him to come, Shannon won't mind. So how oh. about it, boy? It did turn into boys. Cheers, butterfly. Oh. He said butterfly. Do I frighten you? Is it my scar? It's your car. Oh. Sorry. It's my mom's car. <laughs> you saw my car, I saw your legs. <laughs> It was a one-time only offer, and she did it earlier this evening at Antone's. No, she didn't. <laughs> you expected guys to be pestering you all night. From your look, I can tell nobody pestered you at all. Wow. There are a few things as fetching as a bruised ego on a beautiful angel. Whoa. <laughs> you sure can't talk. You know how people say, you're okay in my book. <laughs> I'm afraid I must file you under chicken shit. <laughs> Why don't you go get ready for your lap dance? Okay. He's so, like, creepy. <laughs> right? But I liked his speech. <laughs> He's very engaging. More butts. <laughs> <laughs> really right in the middle of the whole bar. <laughs> Oh, that floor has to be so, <laughs> so disgusting. Dead, right? <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Just everyone watching? Yeah. Girl on the bar. Oh. <laughs> well, he got his lap dance. Have a nice ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's had enough. I am not gonna fuck him. I can hear you. <laughs> Old enough to be my I dad. can still hear you. <laughs> wow, that's fucking scary. <laughs> that's fucking scary. Is it safe? No, it's better than safe. It's death proof. Oh, death proof. Car gets into some smash up, there ain't no way in hell anybody's walking away from it. How do you think they accomplish that? TGI? <laughs> <laughs> real cars smashing into real cars. Real dumb people. <laughs> Drive this baby into a brick wall doing 125 miles an hour just for the experience. Dang. There you go. <laughs> that seems comfy. You know, when you asked to drive me home, you didn't mention your car didn't have a passenger seat. Yeah, I didn't ask to drive you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looked right at us. That was scary. <laughs> easily been going left too and if that was the case it would have been a while before you started getting scared oh no you're gonna have to start getting scared immediately oh crap oh oh my god she's got no seatbelt in there or anything oh, oh he's flying it's super funny. This is not a joke. This car is 100% death proof. You need to be sitting in my seat. Oh! Just smashed her face. Oh, you're not dead yet?
Well, this movie took a huge turn. Dave, D, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Titch. Who the fuck are they? <laughs> How far behind is he? He's got a way faster car. Oh, went way past him. I'm afraid for her with her leg out the window. Right? She's had her leg out this whole time. Uh-oh. Oh my god, he's crazy. Just head on. Oh no, this leg. Oh no. Kidding everyone's Oh her leg Oh my god That was brutal We saw all four deaths That was disgusting uh, I, I don't remember Oh that my god and they were all drunk and high and stuff, and he was drinking virgin drinks the whole night. He could just blame it on them. Hey, these guys. What's the patient's prognosis? Broken collarbone. Smashed up his left index finger. He was real lucky. A death-proof car. Well, what we have here is a case of vehicle homicide. That old boy in there murdered them, pretty little gal. Okay. Now, you actually think that he premeditatively murdered them gals? And he's right. Two tons of metal, 200 miles an hour, flesh and bone, and plain old Newton. Yeah, they got obliterated. She asked him for the fucking ride now on paper. This look like he's just trying to help her out. Damn. I can be goddamn sure he don't do it in Texas. Lebanon, Tennessee. Wow, so 14. <laughs> so that sheriff just knew exactly what he did. Just couldn't do anything about it and figured he would have more fun watching NASCAR. And now he's got a new car. Oh! Oh, we lost the color. <laughs> Man, he planned that murder very well. So is he actually a stuntman, or does he just keep doing this, and that's how he got that scar? Maybe. He knows how to rig his car for, like, a roll cage and stuff, but he could just be a psychopath. next victims yep damn kurt russell is such a good actor he's so creepy in this and so what happened then mm, that was pretty much it we made out in the hall for about 10 minutes and then i said this is like the I... same story yeah we didn't know you were awake i'm not awake i'm asleep we get some more vodka and some more sugar-free red bull anyway <laughs> vodka red bull they got regular red bull and sugar-free go juice go stalking them. I'm concerned that we lost the color because in Kill Bill that meant just like utter Graphing. violence. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't imagine anything worse than what we just saw. Those four girls getting ripped apart. That's creepy. Oh my god, really? What the fuck? Gee. That guy bumped into my feet when he walked by. He did more than that. I don't know why, but that kind of creeped me out. <laughs> you should be creeped out. Just a shadow. Wow. Gotta keep that stunt man. <laughs> Persona. <laughs> Little dick. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back. Man, he really likes to just play with them. Oh, okay. Nice yellow car. Oh, this song. Yellow. That's cool. Let's get your ass off Kim's car. I've seen Kim sit on it before. Her ass ain't your ass. <laughs> so, I think I'm in this month's issue of Allure. Man, he keeps just going after famous women. Here you are. What happened to the other girl? She just went in for some coffee. You know, I got other fashion magazines for sale behind the counter. No, that's okay. 
We found an issue of Italian Vogue in Lebanon, Tennessee. We're lucky he's not asking for fucking Kruger and stuff. Oh, so this has to be code, right? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Take it to the art department. You have to do it fucking right. I'm confused. It, yeah, is this really just a magazine? <laughs> Why is she in a cheerleader outfit? <laughs> Maybe they're high schoolers? I don't know. What they are is in trouble. I thought he was in his car. He's yeah. not even stealth about Just it. Out in the open. Would be Lee and Tuba. Toolbox. <laughs> Name sounds promising. <laughs> <laughs> he is, is a pervert. Well, wow, he just keeps sounding bitter and bitter. <laughs> and he likes to watch me pee. What? Toilet and Toolbox is watching her pee. <laughs> we got a guy who looks like Nick Cage and a guy who looks like Pee Wee Herman, too. Whatever you fancy. Yeah, well, if he's so in love with me, why did he fuck Daryl Hannah Standing? So much drama on the movie set. He ate a piece of my birthday cake and he got me a present. <laughs> he made you a tape. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that is so romantic. <laughs> and then had sex with someone else. He's likable, but he fucked another woman <laughs> on my birthday. Yes. Be on my side. I'm on your side. <laughs> I've let him give me a foot massage when we go to the movies. <laughs> I've let him hold my hand. Nice. You're not giving him any tongue, but Daryl Hannah Standen is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck both of you. <laughs> it's dark as hell and you can't see shit. I'm just waiting for Kurt Russell to show up. Stuntman Mike. I'm right at the edge of a seven oh, foot Oh, he's trunk. right there. That was a great reveal. Zoe is amazing. Agility, reflexes, nimbleness. Oh, come I like you. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still felon. Lee's right. We all have our talents. <laughs> so, Kim, you still pack a Roscoe? Ooh, nice one, mate. I know this. What's a Roscoe? Roscoe's a pistol. Oh, she's got a gun. You have a license to carry it? When I became a Secret Service agent, they gave me a license. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were. <laughs> okay, I didn't say it, all right? Stop looking at me. I didn't say it. <laughs> Don't do your laundry at midnight. Fuck that. I want to do my laundry whenever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> It's Wild West, motherfucker. So she's the out-of-towner. Yeah. I want to drive a Dodge Challenger. <laughs> Fuck me swinging balls out. It has to be a 1970 Dodge Challenger with a Ooh. 440 engine. Very specific. Then why the fuck you want a local redneck newspaper in New Zealand? Pipe down and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude is selling a stock 1970 Dodge Challenger with a 440 engine. How lucky. Just wants to drive it. Yeah. Test drive it. I want to say I want to buy it, so he'll let me test drive it. Vanishing point. Mate, it's a fucking classic. Most girls wouldn't know vanishing point. Slaving. Yeah. Or he's coming over to the table. Y'all grew up watching that Pretty in Pink shit. <laughs> oh, I like Pretty in Pink. <laughs> vanishing point. Dirty Mary. Crazy mm -hmm, Larry. Mm -hmm. Gone in 60 seconds. Not that Angelina Jolie bullshit. Gonna add some of these to our list. <laughs> And pretty in pink. <laughs> so he definitely overheard where they're going. And that she has a gun. Yeah. You horny gals want. Oh, this guy again too? Nice. Oh shit. Uh, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'd just like to have a word alone with my business associate. You ladies take your time. <laughs> it's so creepy. If you ever do what you try to do now, to not only refuse. <laughs> what is she trying to do? Ship's mass? I know I said it. And I know I meant it. Damn, yeah, Skipper, you meant it. Also, I'm just now realizing that it's not all grainy and we haven't really had any like abrupt cuts or anything. It took a while. <laughs> you need two people to play Ship's mast, and I ain't playing. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> I'll crack it back. You'll crack it anyway. Well, of course I'll crack it. <laughs> you just order me to do it. Just be like, bitch, get over here and get busy. <laughs> Like how they're both in focus. <laughs> right. You guys are out collateral. I really think one human being will be collateral enough. <laughs> Don't leave someone alone. I'll talk him into it. But if I talk him into it, I go along. What are you gonna do, blow him? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna insinuate that Lee's gonna blow him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then leave her alone. Right, and then leave her with him. You just sit in the back, and I don't wanna hear a peep out of your ass. You understand? Go work your magic. My friend over there? <laughs> Hello, Jasper. I'm Abernathy. Aber what? Abernathy. What's your first name? <laughs> well, how do I know y'all ain't just gonna steal it? One, we are not thieves. <laughs> While we're taking the car out for a little spin, get acquainted with our other friend, Lee. 
for a lead. It's a cheerleader movie, and she's one of the cheerleaders. Okay, that explains it. A movie about cheerleaders. Is it a porno movie? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't mention it. She's shy. Oh, no. She was asleep? Be back to pick you up later. Those are some shitty friends. Just leave him alone with this stranger. Gulp. <laughs> Gulp? <laughs> you wanna start out on top? Practically doesn't count if you start on the top. Ah! <laughs> Ship mast. So they're going on the top? I guess so. <laughs> Give me a belt. No. Prada. Come on. Prada. It's nice to be nice, Kim. Whatever. Don't get on my nerves right now. I got shit on my mind. Is this what stunt people do for fun? Just gonna hang out the side of the car? I guess so. Okay, Evan, oh. Cheers. It's getting all messed up again. No, this is crazy. Is she gonna stand all the way up? This is way too dangerous. Oh, stay on the road at least. Where's Stuntman Mike? I know, he can't be far behind. Stop. Oh no, Stuntman Mike. She better get back inside. Crap. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, he's just going right in. Damn it! How the fuck she stay on the hood? Well, she's a stunt driver. <laughs> Still. Oh, crap. Jeez, what the fuck do you do? Start to slow down? Shoot him. Can she just break? Should she just break? Just, yeah, slow down or something. She can't break too fast. Oh no. She's got some good grip. I feel like you should jump at this point. Get off, get, get off. off. Oh my God, get the fuck off the car. No. Oh, oh shit. no. Jesus. <gasps> oh. oh my god. Did they finally slow down so she can get off the Whoa! Came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Oh, he's stuck. That was fun! <laughs> Is it okay? Adios! Oh. Where is Zo? Did she fly off? <sighs> she land on her feet? you are what was i thinking that was wild just with the smile on her face that was a close one <laughs> please just get in the car and leave like you want to go get him oh hell yeah no <laughs> i think you might want to get out fuck that shit let's kill this bastard <laughs> are they gonna go hunt him how many more bullets do you got all right a weapon No, get in the car. <laughs> We've already had enough of you out of the car. Or can you strap yourself in at least? <laughs> I feel like she might be on her ninth live. <laughs> Seemed uh, pretty frightened after getting shot. Yeah! Uh! Go on. Uh! 
He's panicking hard. I thought he just got like shot in the arm or something. I thought it just like grazed him. Yeah, his... it looked like it grazed him. Oh, he got fucked up. Oh my god. driving <laughs> he hit his head so hard and then she just beat the fuck out of him yeah he messed with the wrong women it's just screaming <laughs> This car is messed up. Surprised he wouldn't just turn around. Uh oh. <laughs> oh who the fuck was that? This guy's car is wrecked. They might have to buy this car. <laughs> I don't think they can bring it back like this. Oh. Get it under control back there. Can't get away from him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything. I, I was just playing around. You almost killed him. And you've killed others. <laughs> he was just playing. Who are these other people who were just I know, they're just flying by. Oh crap. Jesus fucking Christ, it's about time. Just waiting for them to like fly right? down. Oh. Yeah, there they are. They're above you. Please don't get it. Please don't. <laughs> They're all praying. Let the roads connect. Go, go, get him, get him, get him. <sighs> <laughs> I'm free. Oh! That was perfect. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a big baby. <laughs> but. <laughs> Be careful, my right arm broke it. Yeah. still standing there you go <laughs> the end <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> that flattened his face all right that was death proof what'd you think i actually really liked that yeah yeah that was definitely an interesting movie um it had to have been one of the slowest Tarantino movies I've ever seen in terms of the beginning. Yeah. The last like 30 minutes of this movie were just high octane carnage. Nonstop. Yeah, it was definitely slow. It was a slow burn in the beginning. And obviously we are going into this pretty much completely blind. We didn't yeah. know what the film was about. So probably even more so it felt slower to us because we don't know like what are we waiting for? Like, what are we waiting to happen? Right, was it a horror movie, an action movie? I mean, you really don't know what it is for like the first hour. I think it was almost towards an hour before like the big shift or reveal of Kurt Russell being a psycho killer happens. Yes. So we're in the bar for most of the beginning of this film. Yeah, I think the majority of this movie follows that other group of women. Yeah, so we have Julia. Butterfly was one of them. Kind yeah. Of like, that was her nickname. Yeah. We had Rose McGowan was Pam. But yeah, I mean, we were following this other group of women and honestly, you would probably think that they would be the main characters throughout the movie with how much time we spent with them and a ton of conversations. I mean, learning so much about them or just trivial conversations mm -hmm. or whatever it was, but you had this like little lingering presence of Kurt Russell throughout the beginning of this movie. It's crazy because obviously he's a serial killer. Yeah. Maybe. I, I assume. Mean, I guess maybe not obviously. You also said he might have not even really been a stuntman. Like maybe this is just what he kept doing 
to people just rigging up cars and getting into car accidents. That one sheriff was like a sexual for him. Right. But he obviously established himself enough at this first bar. That's true. The bartender knew him. I think it was Warren. Um, Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he knew him and he's like, well, he says he's a stuntman. I've never seen him. And, you know, I mean, technically you don't really see stuntmen in films. Like, well, yeah, you're I not guess, gonna see their face. No, that's the point. Yeah, but even then, they weren't even really quite sure what he had worked on. And then when he was describing everything that he had worked on, the girls that he was talking to were like, "No idea what you're saying." Yeah, I mean, I think he was just pulling like older films and movies right. that were like just out of the range of what these women would have been watching. But there was a good amount of suspense in the beginning because we didn't know what to expect. And there was even a moment when he first pulls up, I think, um, outside of a supermarket or whatever it was that the tone of the movie changed. And you even commented of it in the, the music, moment that you yeah. were like, ooh, this, that felt like a horror movie all mm -hmm. of a sudden. So whenever he was around, the vibe of the movie definitely changed. Yes. He was a very smooth talker, but he definitely had that presence that just kind of put people off. Absolutely, and kudos to Kurt Russell. We've seen him in horror films at this point, action movies, but this was just like the creepiest yeah. that we've seen him. Stalker. Yeah, just a stalker. He was obviously like he had a screw loose. He was trying to murder, kidnap <laughs> these women. Definitely the, the strangest role we've ever seen him in. Yes, but it was like cool to see him doing something else. Yeah, he was a great psycho murder villain stuntman. <laughs> yeah, no, he was very good at like the creepy vibe and like that laugh when he was just like hysterically laughing like he pulled it off very well. He was excellent. The movie really picks up in that one scene where the people that he was following turn left and he was just like, left or right? And she was like, right. And he's like, ooh, you're gonna be afraid a lot faster because I'm going left. Yeah. From that moment on, it was violence. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's when the violence picked up. That's what we've talked about in our other reactions for Tarantino films is just expecting violence. And this was a lot. <laughs> yes. Basically, from the start of that moment, when they're in the car and he has, I think it's Pam in the car and he starts driving crazy and she's going all over the place. Yeah. But as soon as her head hits the- Dash or something? Yeah. That was, oh shit, what are we watching right now? And then to just watch his- not, it wasn't even like a chase. Like he just flies around to the car. Yeah, they're all jamming out, not paying attention. Turns off his headlights and just full speed ahead. And the fact that we had to watch that scene four times so that we could see it from all of their perspectives of what happened, that was next level gruesome, even for Tarantino. Yeah, I think one of them flew out the front window. Yep. The girl, I mean, you called it, like you were afraid of her legs always being out of the window. Yeah. Just ripped her in half. The driver, I think, just kind of slammed back and forth. But then the main girl that we were following in the beginning, she just had like a tire just shred yeah, her just, entire face. Oof. That was an incredibly graphic scene that played four times. Yeah, um, to make sure we really knew how each <laughs> yeah. of them died. We really needed to know. Uh, and then he ends up in the hospital with pretty minor injuries. And we had this really interesting conversation with the sheriffs there. That main sheriff, who was the sheriff in Kill Bill, mm -hmm. totally knows what the guy's doing. And there's nothing he can do about it. The way that Kurt Russell premeditated this whole yes. situation, down to the fact that he didn't even have a drop of alcohol, like everything about this, like he just played out and like stalked his prey so well to the fact that even the cops are like, well. Oh. And I think that when you have that scene where he talks about how everything just kind of falls into place, you go back to that original hour of the movie that felt slow but then you start breaking it down of him slowly stalking his prey mm -hmm. and the decisions that he's making to not drink mm -hmm. the quentin tarantino's character would testify that it was pam who asked for the ride and he didn't really persuade her to come or anything how all of the other girls were clearly drunk and high so it's very believable that he can get into a car accident and then they're gonna be the ones at fault and he's just gonna be some poor person who got lucky. 
it was very detailed. I'm sure he had the entire thing planned out. He just needed to find the group of women that he was going to do this to. Yeah, I mean, I, he also had their photos before that night even started, I guess. That's true. And I think listening to Julia on the radio. Right. Which he obviously did because he heard the butterfly scenario. Right. Man, Kurt Russell was just like another <laughs> level of creepy. And that is only the first half of the film. Right, and when you pick up with the second half, the group of women is very similar. Like you have someone who's out of town, you have a celebrity. Yeah, and you have a group of four women. Right. It was cool to pick up on the parallels of the two groups of women. And then obviously we were like, well shit, like this is his next victims. But the fact that, first of all, they're all in the film industry, but two of the women are stunt drivers. Or stunt or women. Or stunt women. Right. Uh, maybe not drivers, but they are so well equipped to handle stuntman Mike. He met his match. I mean, the other, the previous women, they were just women. And then these girls, I mean, again, stuntman Mike, he might just be lying. Yeah, we don't know if he's actually a stuntman or not, but he's prepared these cars, both cars that he used for obviously these purposes and for him to totally be strapped in. Right. Death proof for him. <laughs> death proof. But the way that he met his match, like it was so satisfying to watch. Yes. They were not gonna let this go. And that was a tense, like 10 or 15 minutes of yeah. her being on the hood of the car. And yeah. they're just, I mean, we kept saying like, slow down or stop. I mean, you can't really slow down too fast or she'll fall off. Yeah. You can't really speed up too fast or she'll fall off. So they're kind of screwed, especially because they're constantly getting rammed by the yeah. other car. But that was insane for her to just be on the hood of the car for as long as she was. She was holding onto the belts to begin with, and then she lost a belt. She only had one, then she had none, and she's just like holding onto the hood. That scene was wild. I don't know how much of that was real that they were just like filming them driving that, but that was insane. It looked incredibly real. It I looked, know. It looked like two muscle cars with a girl on top. And the fact that Kim, like we know that she has a gun. Right. And the whole time, I mean, I think you shouted a couple of times like, pull out the gun, pull out the Shoot gun. Him. She obviously was focusing on not losing Zoe, but the fact that he's like all kind of celebratory and he gets out of the car just for her to shoot him yeah. in the shoulder. And honestly, it didn't look like that bad of a shot. It looked like he just kind of went off his skin a little bit. It did look like a graze. And later on in the film, we do get like a, like a side shot of his arm and it, it still doesn't look it, that yeah, bad. Yeah, it looks fine. And that's why I think he's lying or he's just a big baby or something because he changed so much after getting shot. Yeah. He was crying. He was, you know, pleading for his life, begging for everything. Like he turned into just a pitiful person. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the chase scene finally stops and we think we lose Zoe. Kim and Abernathy are just kind of crying in the front seat because they don't know what the heck happened. But it goes back to that conversation that we had in the diner. You know, she can just land on her feet and she's a little cat-like reflexes and stuff. Yeah. And that was just so funny. They're just crying and she just jumps up like, I'm okay. <laughs> and she has just a big smile on her face and she walks up and is like, man, that was crazy, right? Like you almost died. <laughs> and then they decide to go after him. And that was just awesome. Yeah, right? that was they, a great car chase. Yeah, there was no way that they were going to let him get away with that. He almost killed Zoe and almost ran them just like entirely off the road. Right. So almost killed all of them. That whole chase scene back the way was hilarious. Oh yeah, the roles were just reversed and he's just so stressed out trying to drive away and they are just so, they're all smiling and laughing and excited. And when they first run into him and he just slams his head on the front and like Zoe just runs out and starts smashing him with the pipe. Yeah. That was so hardcore. I mean, I thought she literally hit him in the face with that pipe. I was like, how is this dude he, well enough that he can keep driving? Oh uh, yeah, they fucked him up a lot right yeah. there and before anything really started. Mm -hmm. um, and then that just sequence where they're, you know, a, a little level on the road <laughs> up and they're all praying like, please don't be a dead end, please don't be a dead end. We cut to Kurt Russell and he's just so happy and excited that he got away. Yeah. And then bang, just slams into him and his car goes flying. It was so perfect. And then of course, I mean, it lands right side up. He's kind of hanging out of the car. And the fact that they come over to the car and he's like, be careful, my arm's broken. I'm like, <laughs> what is it exactly that you think is about to happen right, right. now? <laughs> and that was one of the more epic just 
beatdowns I've ever seen. <laughs> he's just like getting spun around as he's getting hit. And it's just all three of them just taking their shots. <laughs> just cuts and freezes on specific frames of them just beating the crap out of them. And then he finally just gets knocked out by a kick from Zo. Uh, and then you think it's over. I think the credits start to roll or it says the end. And then Rosario Dawson just like kicks up her leg and slams it down on his face and it just flattens it. Yep. Yeah, no, that was disturbing. We did think the movie was over and then that happens. <laughs> yeah. But wow, that was for sure a very violent Tarantino film. But I thought it just had a little bit of everything. Uh, it was definitely unique compared to the other Tarantino films that we've seen, but it still has that classic violence and craziness. He loves his like long conversations mm -hmm. that sometimes you don't even realize how important those conversations are to the story. Mm -hmm. It was incredibly detailed. I really liked Kurt Russell just kind of having a little presence throughout the entire movie, even just certain scenes like with the second group at the diner and they're doing the camera around mm -hmm. and you're waiting for him like, where is he? And then he's just sitting there at the bar, mm -hmm. just kind of like peeking over and stuff. And you know, he's just stalking them. Yep, listening to everything. And also Tarantino always is huge for his music. So all yeah. of his music choices, they were all important. They all set the tone. Obviously were used in the beginning for the butterfly lap dance. Yeah, the music was huge in this movie. And I don't think I've ever seen a Tarantino film with as much focus on feet and on butts as this one. A lot of feet, a lot of butts. <laughs> a lot of low camera angles for all the butts <laughs> and a lot of exposed feet. Even that weird tickling, almost licking scene with yeah, Kurt Russell. That so, was something else. Uh, someone, so creepy. someone gave him the go ahead to put as much feet <laughs> in this as he wanted. <laughs> and then also what the hell happened to uh, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead? They just left her there with that creepy dude. Yeah, no, Lee was just left there and uh, I don't know, are they ever gonna go back for her? Cause that car is wrecked. They better go back. Steal it. <laughs> yeah, they better go back and get her, and they're gonna have to buy that car. But no, that was a crazy ending to the movie. Well, that was exciting. I think it kept us on our toes, and I'm really glad we watched that because if we weren't going through all the Tarantino films, I don't know if we ever would have. No, it uh, it still felt like something new for Tarantino, and it was definitely something new for Kurt Russell. I had a ton of fun. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.